Hey guys, it's Cal from The Lighting Doctor here. I just wanted to take a minute here and, and say thanks for watching. I want to answer one of the most common questions I typically get asked about low voltage lighting is about what kind of uh, connectors to use to really create a good waterproof connection that's going to last. So, you know, what I see is people going to the big box stores, your Canadian Tires, Home Depots, Ronas, and, and you know, they go buy these lights, which uh, first off is halogen. Um, if you're buying low voltage landscape lighting still and it's halogen, um, it's ridiculous. You wouldn't go to a, um, you know, a mobile phone store and still buy a flip phone, right? You're going to get a smartphone. So now that they have LED, why wouldn't you use that? It saves you power and they're way easier to use and design. So if you're a do-it-yourselfer and you want to put your own system in, please stop buying halogen lights. I know they're cheaper, but you're going to pay for it in the long run because they just don't last. They use more power. It's ridiculous. Um, and then the other thing I see at those uh, big box stores is the wiring connections like the one you see here the ones where you just kind of screw them into the wire um, I'm just gonna tell you right now that they're garbage don't waste your money again they're not gonna last uh, yes they're easy to easy to put in and they're basically idiot proof um, but if you want to buy garbage then uh, this video is not for you I'm gonna show you three four connections um, that you can find uh, I'll have links below this video where you can actually go and buy them uh, it's not for me I don't care if you buy them for me I just I want you to use the right stuff so that you can put in a lighting system that's gonna work so the first one I'm gonna show you um, is the one that I love using that we use all the time um, they're called uh, the snap lock connectors you can buy them on Amazon you get them with all our do-it-yourself kits we use these um, primarily because they're super easy to use uh, they last, they're gel filled, and they hold the wires together nicely. So, super simple. It looks like this. They open up. It's got a couple ports at the bottom to throw your wires so you can have a wire going in, a wire going out, and then your uh, fixture wire. And then they basically snap tight uh, and click. And then the wires stay in there nice and nice and durable and they won't get pulled out and they, they last a long time super easy to use so this is my number one uh, suggestion if you can find these again there'll be a link below this video where you can actually go and get these the other option is sometimes if you're if you're having to kind of tee off some wire and you have to use multiple ones um, I just use a regular moret but these are gel filled morets so uh, the wires go in there and you just tighten them down uh, very waterproof because they're they're filled with gel the one Thing I will say about these if you're going to use these make sure you tape up the wire at the base um, although they will provide some kind of mechanical connection so the wires don't get pulled apart um, I still recommend at least throwing some electrical tape around the wires and then around the moret so the wires don't pull out of there but uh, really good waterproof option as well uh, I would recommend these before you go buy the crap that you find at the big box stores the other option which is uh, a really good option um, they're probably the the most watertight and the most kind of pull resistance ones. They're a little bit more work, um, but I would strongly recommend these as, as well too. And we use these a lot of times as well. Um, basically what it is, is it's two parts. You get a regular moret that is not gel filled. It's just a regular moret, but it fits inside a uh, gel filled tube. So it's called a DBRY connection. So basically that opens up. You twist all your wires in here. It slides in, you push it to the very tip to the gel, and then you snap that tight on the wires, and you could not pull those wires out. I don't care how hard you tried. So again, this is a really, really good option. There's a little tighter or a little tougher to sometimes close it and get the wires uh, in there, um, but they do, they do work very well, and I would recommend this over, again, anything you're gonna find at one of the big box stores. And then the last option, um, a lot more work, um, but I really like this too, um, especially if, you're, if you've got wires that are kind of exposed, trying to hide them under a deck or up in a tree or anything like that. You don't want to have a big, you know, a big connection like this hanging from your deck or from a tree. Um, these inline, basically, it's just a shrink wrap tube uh, that's actually gel filled. And when you heat these up, it actually seals around the wire. So basically, you slide this onto the wire, you make your connections. You slide that over them and then with a small mini torch you basically just melt it down and it it grips down on the wire um, the gel fills so that no water can get in and once it hardens um, it's you know pretty much as good as a as a regular wire that hasn't even been cut so that's another really good option so those are the four that I would recommend um, anything other than that there's some other options but um, they get a lot more complicated with having a bolt down the wires and 
all kinds of different mishmash. So those are the four that I would recommend. And, um, you know, we use those in all our do-it-yourself kits. And I just want to explain a little bit about our do-it-yourself kits. I know um, we don't we don't manufacture any of our own lights. We're a landscape lighting installer. So we've, we've tried all kinds of different brands. I mean, I've got a box here of crap lights that we've tried over the years that we just don't use because we found one it's either too expensive it just doesn't last um, so what we've done in the value in our kits is is one I mean it's good quality stuff and in my opinion it's probably some of the best quality stuff out there if there's other lighting manufacturers that want to send me info so that we can see what else is there I'm more than happy to, to take a look at them but from our experience and what we use in all our installs um, is the lights that you're gonna find inside this kit and you really get the best bang for your buck for them and there's more expensive ones that are maybe a little bit more durable but I don't think they're um, they're as durable as for the extra money you pay for them so I mean we we recommend I mean these good quality fixtures all the time if you could actually hold this right now and see how much heavier it is compared to um, you know the cheap light I just had from Home Depot then uh, you would understand the quality in these as well as um, you know our up lights which these again are super super durable I have a video on YouTube where my kids try and smash these with golf clubs and have no luck making any damage to them where uh, we also had some cheaper lights that they broke in a matter of seconds and I mean they're just little kids They can't even swing a club that hard and, and they smash those ones and then these ones uh, last forever, so um, We don't manufacture these we just found what works and we're just trying to provide value in Going and putting those in kits for you guys so that you can use them um, I've got no interest in making money off selling you guys crap that you're gonna be calling me back in six months and saying hey these these didn't last or they're all banged up you're gonna get the best of the best from us so that's our that's our promise to you when you look at our kits and hopefully um, you guys got some value out of the different connections and stuff that you can use and please send me your comments your questions uh, I'd love to be able to answer those if you have any more all right thanks for watching Thank you.